and you know everybody we, we understand and we have been studying it right from the beginning that the conservation of mass principle is the most fundamental principles in nature and it says that mass can never be created nor it can be destroyed so there are similar laws for similar quantities and we shall be uh, mentioning it again and again uh, during the course of this uh, this work that is this discussion that is taking place uh, we are familiar with this principle and it is not difficult to understand it either to give you a simple example if we mix 1 gram of oil with 2 gram of vinegar then we know how much oil and vinegar are we going to uh, obtain in the form of dressing so it will be obviously uh, 3 grams so the the mass that is there is to be preserved and the amount that flows in that is provided somewhere should be equal to the mass that flows out so this that is the basic thing and it can neither be created nor, nor it can be uh, destroyed that is the basic thing in a similar manner uh, another example that we can give is 1 kg if you mix 1 kg of oxygen and make it react with 2 kg of hydrogens then we know from the chemistry that we obtain 1 kg of water you will recall that we have the water is indicated in chemistry by H2O. So you can see here that two atoms of hydrogen with one unit of oxygen combine reacts chemically to form one unit of water. And this actually essentially is consistent with the conservation of law of mass conservation. The other way, that is, we use, we electrolyze this water that we have made, and then what will happen through electrolysis, the water will evaporate or it will divide itself into. Uh, hydrogen and uh, oxygen and again if we do that it will separate into 2 kilogram of hydrogen 1 kilogram of oxygen verifying that the mass is conserved mass in is the same as mass out and it is preserved and similarly we can continue with uh, uncountable number of uh, examples. Uh, likewise, another quantity that we deal with is energy. Energy is also a conserved property and it cannot be created uh, nor it can be destroyed during a certain process. So the same law, the laws of conservation, conservation of mass, conservation of momentum, conservation of energy, so similar things are being, however, that it has been found and observed through experiments and with scientific reasoning that although they have to be conserved, they cannot be created, they cannot be destroyed, but they can be converted in from one form to another form. That can be done. And that was, first of all, shown by a famous scientist Albert Einstein uh, and it is indicated through his famous uh, mathematical equation that he developed that E is equal to mc square. E is energy, m is the mass and C is the speed of light in vacuum. So this is a strict condition. 
if there is no vacuum then the speed of light could be different but these are the conditions so this is how this equation is defined and what is this gives us a very simple equation but it gives us a relation between energy and the mass and it shows how it can, the two things can be converted from one form to another form this equation suggests that the mass of a system changes when energy changes so however for all energy interactions encountered in practice with the exception of nuclear reactions the change in mass is so little that it can really be ignored and to give you an example uh, if 1 kg of water is formed from oxygen and hydrogen uh, when we chem when they re uh, chemically react with each other then the amount of energy that is released is about 16000 kilojoules and this is equivalent to a mass of change of mass of 1.76 into 10 to power minus 10 kg so minus 10 kg you can imagine this will be 0 0 0 and we continue till these numbers are completed and then there will be 1 and multiplied by of course 1.76 the quantity is so small compared to 1 that if we subtract it if we add it it doesn't really makes any contribution so what do we conclude from that we can see that the change in mass if at all there is a change is so small that it is negligible compared to the other physical quantities that are existing and the mass is uh, this is what is uh, mentioned here thus we have the laws for conservation of mass a rate of change of mass that is flowing in this dot normally you will remember from mechanics solid mechanics that although dx by dt is a term that we every now and then use in terms of uh, in calculus but if we have to simply denote it we show it by dot on the top of the the variable that is here and t is the time with which it is changing so that shows rate of change of x the distance with respect to time here is rate of change of mass that is flowing in minus the rate of change of mass of the fluid that is flowing out of a given system that is under consideration and this is denoted by mathematically as derivative of mass within that control volume that is under consideration with respect to the time so the same thing and if the instead of mass we consider something else we shall be writing the same thing similarly the laws for conservation of momentum and that will that will say that the momentum is conserved and the laws of conservation of energy this should be here also as dots because the rate of change when it is rate then there should be dots here 